guys, it's your girl Lightwork Goddess and Tara. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna be doing October predictions. I'm gonna break it out with water signs, air signs, um, earth signs, and fire signs. We're gonna start off with water signs. I have been trying to post, I had did the inv individual reading from Aries to Scorpio, and then I was gonna do the remaining signs, but for some reason it's taking forever to upload. So I'm just gonna do this one these ones now and then hopefully the personal ones um upload or i might have to film it again so we're going to start off with our water signs so october predictions who's coming towards you in love what's going on with the person on your mind you know we're just going to look into whatever comes out father god spiritual guides ancient ancestors please come into this reading let this be a message of love light and blessings and please keep out all negative evil demonic dark energy or spirits as it's not welcomed in my energy or that of the collective and so it is as a be amen i say all right guys i'm a scorpio but i was just hearing scorpio so heavy scorpio en energy here so if you are a water sign or you're dealing with the water sign this could be their feeling towards you or just what's going on in october 2021 all right spirit give me some cards for the water sign collective what's going on with their person what's going on with them and love nurture yourself first so there's definitely a calling of someone could be wanting to nurture the co uh, connection someone could be wanting to give towards you someone may have pulled back their energy a feminine here or you have could have just been really focusing on yourself <clears throat> take the lead yeah somebody wants to come in now and take the lead and build on solid ground back of the deck is shine your light okay i like that all right spirit clarify nurture yourself first for my beautiful water signs i'm getting an energy of somebody now wanting to give towards you retrograde energy we're about to get out of mercury retrograde but somebody wanted to now give towards the situation communication is key new moon and gemini someone can definitely be a gemini um meditate and contemplate new moon in pisces water energy so someone could have been for a long time contemplating whether or not they this could be a long time coming divine timing they could have been contemplating whether they should take the lead or not someone could have been gaining the confidence or the strength to come towards you um to now want to build on solid ground and nurture the connection maybe they weren't giving towards you in the past maybe they were holding back maybe they were acting distant or uninterested and maybe they weren't interested but now they want to shine light on the fact that they want to bust out of their cocoon and chain tracks because they have faith that the connection will work and conclusions are within reach full moon in eclipse so your hard work is paying off new moon and capricorn someone here could be a capricorn so basically what i'm getting is somebody wants to communicate to you my water signs that they want to nurture the connection they want to give towards you they've thought about this for a very long time you guys could be in a very long period period of disconnect but now it's like they've got to some sort of conclusion that they want to build on solid ground it could have took this person a very long time to understand that they want to be with you or choose you so someone could have had options so let's look into what was the past energy with this person for my water sign collective i'm definitely getting someone from your past and ex coming back or what have you the magician in the struggle position so you could have been trying to manifest a start with this person or um just thinking about them a lot but it really wasn't going anywhere you could have been like really trying to manifest this person into your life really wanting a connection with them but for some reason there was a blockage and we're going to look into that as well um <clears throat> past energy justice this was in the struggle position as well so i'm getting it was just ooh, three of swords energy i'm getting that this person wasn't being honest with you it's like you were trying to have a connection with them you were trying to build on solid ground you were trying to nurture the connection but they weren't communicating with you they were holding back free from you and it's like they weren't being honest they were being wishy-washy i'm getting flighty um flighty flaky fake energy very distant um oh queen of pentacles in reverse with the, I, a lot of times when I, i've been doing these water signs readings i keep getting this queen of pentacles in reverse so this is telling me that there could definitely be a karmic here or a third party um we did have that three of swords and the three of wands so i feel like in the past this person could have been investing their time in a queen of pentacles in reverse or they could have just been very focused whether they're masculine or feminine on materialistic things very 3d um very money hungry gold digger energy so either they were investing in someone that was very superficial maybe looks really good but had no substance was really just you know wanted them for materialistic reasons or your person was in this energy of you know just focusing on their money but not from like a, a standpoint of wanting to be successful but from like greed and yeah they had you waiting three of wands like you were always waiting for this person to i'm here and keep it a buck with you to text you back it's like what the hell was going on with this person so spirit what was the blockage i 
can't make this shit up. The blockage was three of swords and nine of cups in reverse. This person did not see you as a wish fulfillment. They had you in a third party situation, okay? This person could have had multiple options and they just were not investing their time in you. That was the blockage. Okay, Spirit, so what is this person's current feelings about my water sign collective? How do they feel now at this present moment, Spirit? They feel like you're you're blocking them out of your life. They see you as a son, but they feel like, look at this person, it's like back up. They feel like you want nothing to do with them. Or they also could feel like it's a lot of obstacles to get towards you. How does this person currently feel about my water sign collective spirit? Oh, oh. <laughs> six of cups with the ace of cups. Yeah, this person is definitely from your past. Somebody you could have dated when you were younger. Someone you could have been friends with. Someone, you know, I'm kind of getting the energy. It's like y'all had feelings for each other, but for some reason it just never got, what is flipped? Something flipped. For some reason it just never got off the ground. I don't know. Oh, here we go. Yeah, because this person was undecided. They could not choose you either they i think now they've made a decision but in the past they were undecided but this person definitely sees you as somebody that they're always gonna love they're very nostalgic about the connection with you at this point my water signs and they have ace of cups that's the greatest amount of love you can have in the tarot this person is like overflowing with love and they want to you know give you some sort of offer okay so how does my water signs feel about this person how do the water signs feel about this person i'm hearing guarded hermit Five of Cups, y'all regret effing with this person. Y'all kind of feel like some of y'all wish you never met this person. This person could have hurt you really bad and you've been isolating yourself from them. I'm getting you could have been chasing this person for some time and now you just pull back your energy. All right, Spirit, so what's this person's intention with my water signs for October? What's their intention? If you haven't been talk to, talking to this person, I am getting that they are going to be coming in. The world, yeah, they want to change the cycle. They want to close out a cycle of disconnect, eight of rod, rods coming towards you quickly. So if you have not been speaking to this person, know that this person is going to be coming in to communicate with you. What's your clearest intention? Ooh. Look. Back in deck. Yeah, they want to offer you some type of apology. They want to let you know how they feel and they want to apologize for how they treated you. Page of Wands is like with the two of wands. It's like this person is up in their head all night. I'm getting this person is very regretful for how they treated you. They could have really backstabbed you. And they feel like you're very intuitive. And I feel like this also means that this person is now following their intuition. So in the past, they could have been just messing with people based off of, you know, 3D superficiality, looks, things like that. People that they thought they should be with, but now they're listening to their heart. And I'm, he I'm hearing third eye opening. And it's like this person keeps thinking like, what would happen if I go towards my water signs? Like now they want to really give this relationship a chance and set out on new discovery, on new adventures. They might want to travel with you. Okay. All right. Okay, so since we got third party energy, my water signs, we're just going to tap in and see. So Spirit, what's going on with the third party, the third party in this connection for people that that resonates for? What is going on with that third party? that third party on the cold so they could have broke up with this person five of pentacles or they are breaking up with them they were definitely oh they were definitely juggling and holding back from you but i feel like now they're holding back from them <laughs> either they already broke up with this person or they're about to yeah they were definitely giving towards this person but wanting to give towards you at the same time empress from in reverse huh, with that queen of pentacles in reverse yeah this person got with a karmic Somebody they could have had kids with. Someone who could have just trapped them with a baby. They want to give up this option, this illusion. They see that that connection ain't shit. It's not what they thought it was. Everything that glitters ain't gold is what I'm hearing. Yeah, Empress in reverse. Very nasty energy. The Empress is the divine feminine. So this is like the opposite of divine feminine. Dark. I'm hearing evil. <laughs> All right. Now let's just get some love messages. Mm. You deserve love and soulmate. Yes, this is a soulmate. This person wants to show you how they feel about you. They really want to build on solid ground. They really want to nurture the connection. And they want to communicate this with you. They want to show you I love you and I want to be with you. I'm hearing that song by Drake. Show you just who I was outside of the club. Outside of things that a man like me does. That's end too deep by Drake. So this person was in too deep with, with, with you and somebody else or what have you. And now it's like they want to really get towards a connection. What else, Spirit?
I'm hearing the one that got away by Katy Perry. Past life relationship. Listen, we can't make this shit up. This is a soulmate connection. Somebody you had a past life with that could have been just learning a, um, you guys are like drawn to each other. Okay. Just, if you think about this person all the time, they think about you all the time too. And religious factors. So I'm getting this person is very 3D and you're 5D. You've ascended. This could be your twin. I mean, take it how it resonates. But this connection was kind of stagnated because this person had some spiritual work and ascension that they had to get done that they were rejecting. Okay, let's get some divine masculine conf confessions. This can be feminine, but this is the energy that we're getting. I'm ready to make things right and commit. Okay, so what would the masculine energy say here? Take, you know, take it how it resonates. If it ain't your story, it ain't your story, okay? Whatever you think I did, I did. So for some of you guys, this person really did something that really was betraying to you. And now they want to take you out on a candlelight dinner and they want to understand you. So you guys could be very different with that religious factors card. Maybe this person just, you know, kind of thinks that you were a little bit weird and they want to understand more about you. I'm getting, you are very spiritual, my water signs, and they want to understand that because they miss everything about you and they regret the things they said. Yeah, this person was a fucking dick karmic in reverse yeah they're letting go of this karmic i'm broke in reverse so this person could have had some money issues or some financial loss that they might not want you to know about or this person could just be getting out of a situation that they were losing money um i draft texts that i never sent so this person usually in the past would want to reach out to you for a lot of you the blockage was that they were with someone else but a lot of you was because this person was fucking nervous because they was treating you like trash and now they're getting out that energy they're about to come and come towards you and your energy heals me i need more of it in reverse i'm just being drawn to like this person like they could have been like in the succubus energy of like really just draining you and really just being around you whether whether it was for your sexual energy or what have you but now it's like they want to give towards you equally and you're the you are the reason she doesn't trust me but they do not give a fuck so definitely third party karmic energy you came in between this relationship with that person whether or not you think because when somebody's with somebody you know when your partner's messing with somebody else okay and you're the reason why that person doesn't trust them but your person doesn't care it's in reverse because they're ready to make things right and commit and throat chakra blocks so for a long time this person's throat chakra was blocked disconnect they wasn't really speaking their truth and maybe even when they come back they might not want to talk about the past they might not want to tell you everything but they're ready to make things right and commit and teach me this spiritual shit, yo. We can't make this shit up. This person sees you very spiritual. Like, and they want to be more like you, water signs. They want to understand you. The feminine says, please marry me. So a lot of you guys want this person too. So what would this um feminine say in this energy? Ooh. Best sex I ever had. So a lot of you guys. You definitely um, have a sexual connection with this person, okay? And the chemistry is crazy, but I know my value now. So a lot of you feminine energies here, you previously were chasing this person, not valuing yourself. So you're in this energy of, I know my value. And fuck love bitter. So some of you guys are in this bitter energy because this person really hurt you. So you're rejecting love. Spirit says don't ever close off your heart chakra because somebody hurt you. And a lot of you guys could be laughing at this person like it's very comical to me. Ha ha ha. Now you want to be with me. Why did you say those things to me? And then we had, I regret the things I've said with the masculine. So this masculine could have been a real dickhead, an asshole, just said some really rude shit to you, treated you like you didn't matter. And the things they said really affected you. But what now, Aggie? Yeah, y'all are kind of in this energy like, what do you want now? Like, it's been a minute now. You want to tell me you love me? And you want marriage. So you're not settling for anything less than a commitment with this person. And finding the strength to walk away so for a lot of you guys it took you a very long time to find the strength to walk away from this person and you're ignoring them on purpose so a lot of you guys was chasing this masculine energy and now you're ignoring them now let's just look into the karmic deck and see what was going on with that third party because i just love to see what the hell was going on with them and not all third parties are karmic karmics but for this energy i'm getting a karmic because I'm getting soulmate and this this person had to learn a karmic lesson. All right. Our love is so precious. So even within this connection that your person had with someone else, they were still thinking about how precious you guys' love was. And 
I don't know about you yet. So I feel like your person was kind of in this energy of not knowing about you, not knowing how to feel about you, not knowing um, really how to move towards you correctly because they were just confused. Trauma. Yeah, this relationship could have, um, with the third party, could have really had a lot of issues based off of trauma. The karmic could have had some severe trauma and your person. So it could have just been very toxic. And it was good in the beginning. So the connection was very good in the beginning. But they fake it for public. So for some of you guys, this person does have a kid with this person. And they kind of just put on a show for public. And I'm from his or her past. So the karmic was somebody from their past. They could have went back to an ex over you. And they found our videos, nudes, and messages. So, yeah, the karmic definitely could have found some messages or nudes that had to do with you guys. And the karmic was an easier, faster, safer choice. So, for a lot of you guys, I know about you, signed the karmic. And, oh, I know they love you. So, this third party knew that your person loved them and that was the issue. But they felt, like, more comfortable with this karmic because I'm getting they were low, bright, low vibrational. They were easy. And you, being divine feminine or divine masculine, you kind of just, like, was putting them on to too much game that they just weren't ready for because they hadn't ascended. All right, my water sign. So, that's all I got for you for your October love prediction or the energy coming towards you if this resonated please be sure to like comment share and subscribe and if it did not just know that it is not your story i definitely am trying to post my other videos where i did each sign specifically but it's taking forever but keep an eye out for that and i hope you have a wonderful day